and welcome. Hey guys, this is a special episode um, relating back to the earlier one we did, working on our cityscape. This is just a little day in the life of uh, FA where, you know, you might not see the cleanest house in the world and everybody, you know, in this little fantasy land. Uh, Got to feed the dogs every morning. That's what I do. Alice and Millie. Alice, Millie. <laughs> they already actually had some food. This is just kind of like a little extra because they're begging. And, uh, you know, I give into that. <laughs> they're like my other kids. Dang it. <laughs> Alice and Millie are big, uh, big part of my world. On Facebook, you may have seen some of my posts with my cat, Betty. Uh, and my kids being... Well, my real kids being the biggest part of my world, really. Um, <coughs> wait, 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 wait. I always start off about right here. That's where the coffee is, of course. <laughs> I'm going to go upstairs here in a minute. I'll start working on a piece here. And there's Matthew who's, who wants to be on. He just started a little YouTube channel of his own. And he's doing some videos on TikTok. So he's learned, He's learning the things I'm learning. I'm still a newbie. Um, but he's learning stuff. He's learning how to edit and write, all those things, right? I might become his editor. Yeah, he's my, he's my production assistant. Yeah. It's Matthew. Callie's probably upstairs watching videos. But I uh, just want to thank you. What's that? Callie's in the bed watching yes. videos on Mom's iPad. Yes. I want to thank you all for watching. I want to ask you again to like, subscribe, share, comment, give us feedback. Uh, let's get these videos rolling. We're getting some good views. Uh, our subscribers are up. We're almost at 1,300. We had a good, good little lift uh, since our last videos. Uh, but 50% of all the proceeds will go to homeless shelters, dog shelters, and hungry kids, uh, hungry kids. endangered species. Art, the arts, all these good causes. We're going to give half of monetization money we make. How we prove it, you could say, oh, you're full of it, F.A. You're not going to do any of that. Well, first of all, I'm not going to lie in front of my kid right here. Second of all, um, as monetization, I'll let you talk in just a second. Hold on. As, as monetization um, occurs, you get little streams of revenue, right? So in order to make a stamp worth it, we need more than like 50 cents worth of, we need more than 50, 50% of 50 cents is 25 cents to send a stamp and envelope somewhere. So what we'll do is as there's enough money we come, that comes in, I'm going to show it to y'all. We're going to put it in, we'll make a bank account. We're like, going to say like we get so big, we yeah. make $200 per video. That $100 of that is going to homeless shelters. 50 of it is going yeah. to um, painting for him. Yeah, 50 of, of it is going to me. Half of 200. <laughs> yeah, he, got, he gets his cut. But anyway, um, talking about the business of Facebook, it's very entrepreneurial. Um, I know there's lots of channels out there that do great things. They donate to people and everything. But um, one of the dedications of the show, you'll see in the description of every show down there, is that 50% of all the ad revenue, 50% of monetization will go to charitable causes. And we will have some episodes and posts on Facebook um, Maybe some posts on Twitter, too, that will reflect the pictures of the screenshots of the accounts, the checks. We want to be able to prove to you this is what we're going to do. But we're not – we are still not there yet. I think we've got to get there first. Uh, I got a notice, though, from YouTube, which is exciting because we have over 1,000 subscribers. And we need 4,000 public minute viewing time before we get to, mo to apply like, for yeah. – Like ads and stuff. Yeah. Like we have to apply for the monetization. Um, so there's a process to it and I hope you're all part of it. Please enjoy this, um, uh, special episode. Um, Stay tuned because we are going on a cruise soon. That's in February. That's a couple months from now. We, we'll do, we'll do a little episode on the cruise ship. That's, that's my wife's and I 10th anniversary being married and, um, I'm 10 years old. Yeah, so he's, he's I 10. I was born like right before she got Not everything is so planned out so perfectly in life, but we love it. We love it. Um, and we love the kids. So, anyway. <laughs> Why does coughing make you cough? So no, I, I don't know what's making me cough. Oh, that's better. Anyway, we're going to paint the cityscape. I can talk better now. Maybe get my voice back. 
We're going to paint the cityscape, uh, but I wanted to just remind you all about what we're all about. Uh, I start my morning out here every day feeding these kids breakfast most of the time, unless they get it themselves. These dogs, I get my coffee. This is I just... wake up at like 5 in the morning before he does. Yeah, we wake. I, I usually get up around... We all get up pretty early. We're an early family. We get up 5, 5.30. Sometimes it's, it's the weekend right now, so up a little bit later. But that's how you can fit this time in for this stuff. How do you fit it in? You got to get up. And then we, we usually have school. Like school. Yeah. We would be leaving for school. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's Saturday uh, after th you know Thanksgiving week. Oh, your holiday's almost done, bud. Uh, so we're going to head up here in a second, talk a little bit more upstairs, light the Bob Ross candle, so important part of the ritual. And uh, continue this episode. Why? Okay, so we're continuing this episode. Um, <clears throat> it'll be 28. A series with the um, cityscape scene as we have here. We're going to continue painting this and do just a little shorter episode today. I just want to give you a good look of where we're at. And actually, if you look in here, this area, this is kind of where we've been painting at. Just pan in, not much. Just a little, just a little section there. Boop. Paint the um, uh, parts that we missed on that uh, kind of four tower building. I guess you want to call it a four four towers. <laughs> kind of a Renaissancey looking building. We don't know what time period this thing's at. We have no clue. It doesn't matter. No. Um, maybe it's a society in this, my, maybe my world's a society that, uh, carried off from Rome and just, you know, decided to go along the path of, uh, of Roman architecture and they, they figured out other architectures just like they did in the uh, Middle Ages into the Renaissance and all those, uh, beautiful Gothic churches and so on. going to light the Bob Ross candle. Woo! Don't burn yourself. All right. We'll just do one out of those. We don't need to, we don't need to. We don't need to uh, burn ourselves today. We don't. We don't need to burn ourselves, Frank. But thank you for lighting my candle. <laughs> you crazy man. But anyways, we'll we'll just put a little Bob Ross right here. Actually, I, I've moved the candle a little close. I usually keep it up there um, because it smells good, and there's a lot of fumes in here, and they're really bugging me lately. I want to warn all uh, parents, don't um, use oils too much around your kids. I let them come in here momentarily. That's why you don't see them in my office too much. Everything is covered, um, but just in case. I mean, there's there's no open bottles of mineral spirits or other, other um, fumes. If there's fumes in there, I shut the door. There aren't a lot to be up here. Open the window. Um, keep your room well ventilated. So oils are more dangerous. Naturally, uh, fire hazards, oils burn much more than acrylics. It's like burning motor oil. And, you know, it's going to burn eventually. Uh, so it's <clears throat> just a thing to keep in mind. Uh, but going back to my city, uh, let's just say they advanced past the Roman era. They cleaned up all the, the corruption and problems of Rome. And let's just say they advanced to this enlightened society. And it's not like today with all the technologies we have now, but they have all the technologies they need. Um, we don't know what's inside these buildings per se. It's a mystery. Uh, it's a story. And that's what I love to do in my art. I like to tell a story. I like there to be some type of meaning. I like to connect certain works together. Um, I'm, I'm more than just doing a landscape. That's just the beauty of this landscape. And, you know, maybe a cabin, or like, you know, a little story about whoever lives in that little cabin there in the woods. I, I'm, I like to do bigger things than that. Um, nature is big. Don't get me wrong. Uh, nature, a landscape, is a beautiful thing because it's, it's, well, you know, uh, all the beauty of this world. You can take a slice of it and put it in a little frame, or big frame. But I'm 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 into bigger picture ideas, um, and ideas and, and thoughts um, that I just want to relate. I'm not bragging about. It. I'm just um, explaining my art philosophy that. Uh, I believe that art, and I said this before, one, one of the big biggest things it does, one of the most important things it does, like Beethoven says, it brings the viewer into the mind of the creator. And we're, that's a communion. I mean, you're connecting two people who don't even know each other. That means your consciousness touched mine, my consciousness touched yours, even a, 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 a thousand years apart. Two th Think about quick cave dwellings with the caveman art 30,000 years ago in France. 
touching the minds of people that much later about their world. Well, there you go. That's a very, very powerful thing. And preserve your art. Keep keep making art. Sell it or give it away. Whatever you're trying to do, put it in a museum, galleries. The value is if it lasts. Who cares somebody paid a million dollars? Well, <laughs> a lot of people care they paid a million. But the fact that someone paid a lot for it means it's going to be probably preserved. But you never know. Anyway, we're going to we we light, we will <laughs> Sorry again. We lit the Bob Ross candle over here. Uh, there it is. Got got my my dirty palette. We're just going to continue off where we left last time, trying to finish up this building and talk a little bit, a little bit of shop here. Talk a little paint techniques. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up because it's hard to hold. It's hard to hold a candle in the cold November rain. It's hard to hold a camera in the cold November rain. It is cold and it. It's actually not cold. It's, it's, it looks like it's cold. It's warm, but it's rainy in Texas. <laughs> oh, man, Frank, I cracked myself up. Anyway, I'm going to put this on um, uh, a device I use here. Those are into uh, um, filming. There are, I have this, which is a little light, little red. This is just extra light. I just, it, it's a base on here. It works great. I'm going to put my camera on there. I'm going to go for a little while painting this uh, building here we left off with. Okay. Enjoy. Everybody needs some time on the road. Everybody needs some time all alone. Oh, wait, wait. I'm singing Cold November Rain. We're, we're, I'm filming. Sorry about that. You don't have to hear me sing, but you can look at me here. <laughs> I'm a crazy man. I'm just, I apologize ahead of time for anything stupid I do. Just, I, I am very serious, very serious about my art, but I'm not going to hide. I'm not going to give you a fake personality is kind of who I am. So, you know, I, I'm sure I'm a little bit amplified on camera. Everybody's amplified on camera. So you're just seeing me to the max. Okay. So let's just keep that in mind. Yeah. Yep. We're here. What? Adjust that camera. Okay. <laughs> Boom. The hell? Okay. Yeah, I said that. I wrote a book about hell too for kids. <laughs> it's not a bad word. It's it's a. It, it, I don't know why hell is a bad word. I don't. I I uh, stray from away from thinking things like that because there's all words have their time and place. So literature literature needs words. Remember this little tool I talked about hand rest. Remember this little tiny brush we talked about? Keep them covered with these little things, little plastic tubes. Real tiny little brush. I'm gonna kind of whittle uh, my brush down with some paint. Just kind of get that point back on there. And um, anyway, uh, just really sharp points. Start working these uh, steeples. Put the coffee over here so I don't spill it on my lap. I'm really regretting the fact that I didn't buy any sugar. Um, I want to point out something too. If you notice that you accidentally got something on, on this paint and it's not just coming off, you can always try to color match it. I, I messed that up. There are, there, there are ways to fix mistakes on the canvas. Always keep paper, clean paper towels around, um, your area. And, uh, sometimes it happens in the process here is that, uh, we get carried away with ourselves, I guess, a little bit. And uh, things kind of can get a little messed up. It's, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Just maybe create a little, like, uh, shiny cloud in the distance there or something. You know, just cover it up. It's not the end of the world. Add to it. It's part of the happy mistakes in life um, where you're dealing with this, you know, rather onerous uh, piece of material. So don't, don't let it stress you out. You do want to check your pads, though, on here. Um, make sure there's no paint that you accidentally rubbed off on here. This is like a little pad, okay? And a, I got an extension on there, so it gives me enough, enough room to work. Um, I, I, I do use a ruler sometimes. But I don't like rubbing it on the top of the canvas up here. This is dry. Not That's not so much. But this is dry. Okay. Make sense? So I'm just touching it 
as a pad, a hand rest. This is just a hand rest. It's a homemade painter's hand rest because I'm a cheap bastard. Another bad word, sorry. Uh, a bastard is not a good word to use, children. Uh, not an appropriate one, but I'm saying it in a cinematic way. It's not one of the words that's uh, edited in television. So we'll just go with it. All right, I'm just working these little steeples on the left tower here, left front perspective, front. You know, I got I got to talk about something that really bothers me today. And I'm not going to go into specifics. I'll, I'll be a little bit nondiscreet. But you ever meet any you ever meet anybody that you don't know very well and they seem pretty cool? And then you realize, wow, you're not so cool. Um, and so then you don't really want to have anything to do with them. That's okay in life, I think. It, it bothers me because I don't like cutting off new connections online. I really don't. But this video could end up on a group or something in, on Facebook or whatnot. Uh, where you, you, the other person I'm talking about is on there. And I don't share their their views in life, but um, there comes a point where I, can't, I don't have the time at, at this age to be wasting on people that um, will engage me in a way that's going to distract me, and I should be able to block that out. But you don't have to be a part of that person's life. They don't have to be a part of yours. And, you know... While while I have followers that I don't think I have as much connection with on Facebook, um, I have friends on there, and I, and I keep all my good friends, and, and and I love my friends on Facebook. I truly do, but sometimes I get new. I have new friends, and it's always good to make new friends. New that's part of social media, and any any type of social media platform that you're using for a, a per particular purpose. But, um. I guess I had a point in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, boy, the point I was trying to make is that uh, we shouldn't have to feel obligated when we know someone's just going to be a distraction. Maybe the, the, it would, for me, it could cause debate or controversy. And so I'm just like, what's the point? You know, you don't like how I view things. Obviously, I don't like the way you view things in life. That's not going to be a good friendship in the end. It's, it's plainly clear. And so I'll shut up. I'm just point I'm saying is you don't have to maintain every connection you have with every person that especially people that you don't you know you just don't know very well and then you realize what they're like and they're like oh wow you're just quiet about that well there are certain things I'll say as a person outside of being an artist I, I can appreciate one's art too uh very much so I can say you are an admit you know I could say man you are an incredible actor you are an incredible artist and I really appreciate work, but I don't appreciate what you think. You know, you know, Hitler was an artist. You know, won't go into a whole history of him, but he was an artist. And he was rejected by art schools. I don't know what they were looking for at the time, but maybe he didn't apply to the right art school. Maybe he needed to go out of his country. Can you imagine? That would change history forever if some, like, foreign art school took him. But the point I'm trying to make is you're, you are a part of your art, in a sense. Be like, okay, well, eventually some of these views I don't like are going to show up in your art somewhere. Unless you're completely a typical. Yes, yeah, sweetheart. And my daughter's in here. Uh, you're not on the camera, though. Okay, oops. Callie, you're not on the camera yet. We have to switch angle here. <laughs> we were, we were, oh, there she is. That's Callie. You did, what did you do yesterday with Santa? Take pictures of me. Also, so like I heard he was a mean Santa. He was not very no, nice. No, he was. He was a mean Santa. Yeah, he like he was like. Mm. He was very rude. Apparently, my my wife said that Santa was not so nice. <laughs> Santa, you're supposed to be nice, even if you're not the real ones at the stores that are just the helpers. Because the real one's nice. Just because you dress like him and you play him, you have to be just like him. Yeah, that doesn't mean you shouldn't be like you. What if, Daddy, I think, why? What if we took a picture with the elf? Because I saw mm -hmm. his ears look like an yeah. elf. 
Those ears look like that. You look like a little elf right there. Look at your cute <laughs> little, this is her cute little dress she wore um, as she did with Santa. And I just, I just, it just boggled my mind that Santa was mean. Because Santa should never be mean. Yeah, and that's what, what if it was a mean elf? Like, do, I saw this video and they have this mean elf. And then they saw him get, like, grow up and, like, turn into Santa. And mm -hmm. then they went to the shop we went into and it was the mean elf that come from their video. And then that, and then sit that. That's what happened, and then it was a mean elf yeah. instead of a mean Santa. And it was mm -hmm. a mean dressed up Santa as an elf. That's not good. And we, I saw his ears like this, so that does that mm -hmm. means that that's not the real Santa. That yeah, means. yeah. So the ones at the stores are, are the fake. are the ones if that they're plastic. Then yeah. that means totally. They're fake. just the helpers that and help. That Santa did not have glasses. Yeah, just like people dress up like Jesus at Christmas time and Mary and all that. Those aren't the real Jesuses and Mary. They're just, you know, like doing their act. Santa, they like pretending yeah. like just to have fun. Yeah, yeah, so we have some fun because, you know, Santa is not going to come down here when he's in the North Pole making toys very hard with all the elves getting ready to deliver to millions of houses around the world. What he's if he made one of the, the mean elves do it? Right. Well, but Daddy, we went yeah. to the place where Zoe works. Oh yeah, I saw. I heard that they went to the mall yesterday, and I, I don't like doing that this time of year. To the mall, Daddy. I'm too much of a hermit. They went wherever Santa was. It was like a mall. It was and near Sephora. Yeah. Guys, yeah. how how do how is there a Santa at the mall and at the a place at the same time? How can there be two Santas? That's impossible. Because we have people who actually are paid actors that just do the Santa thing at the malls and every other place so that you guys can have some fun. And how will... Real Santa's out there doing his thing right now. He's busy. Very busy. But our elves are, don't have to do anything because they're mm. right now just chilling. Yeah. They're chilling near the, um, our plastic Santa Claus. They yeah. think he's real. Yeah, the elves, the elf on the shelf moves more as it gets closer to Christmas. It's not yet November. Dad, should I go I mean, change? I, pff, I would, it's not yet December. It's still November. But, Dad, End what of am November. I holding up? Ten. Seven. No. I'm holding up 25. Oh, okay. Two oh, do you go check, go check the numbers. Go see if the numbers are right down there. Okay. All right, got to change the numbers. Because I think we're at like 26 days now. Yeah, 26 days of Christmas. Okay, sweetie, go change the numbers. And get back to some painting. I, I, I had to give my daughter a little bit of time to be on the camera. Um, and then she's down there changing the Christmas the Christmas timer little blocks that say how many days till Christmas. Okay, so um, as you saw on the video, we're moving still ever carefully in this area put some steeples on there to probably it's hard to see here so we're going to reverse the camera here and get back to the painting okay sweetie she's just she's just getting done with the uh, christmas counter down there and uh 26 days or so to christmas 27 or something like that i'm not paying a whole lot of time i had to work yesterday and i'm just tired not paying attention to how many days till christmas at this point yeah because um, there's no Mm -hmm. We could do it to 25, but there's no five, and there's no four or three, so I have to just do That's it right. 22. Yeah. And so, we got new shoes. Yeah, very nice. Oh, I love those. Did you try, and, did you, you, you got to clash the bottoms of those because you stepped in dog doo doo. Mm -hmm. All right. That's, and that's the, I, shoes. ooh, very nice. And they're actually twinkle toes. Yeah. Daddy, they actually light up uh -huh. on the side. Yep. That's awesome. And dad. Yeah. Oh, that's very soft. But this hey. is my soft yeah. sweater. Yes, it it's is. Really soft. Very, very nice. I love it. Okay, so it's a little hard to paint when people are touching you and, and being excited around you, especially this. This is at a hair's a hair's distance. Literally, a hair off my head. Little tiny line. So I needed to just take a little break here. Uh, we're working some perspective lines this way. I want to just, we'll talk a little bit more about perspective lines before we end this video. But one of the things here from this point, from this point here to this point here, you can see where I'm pointing my brush from this tower here to that tower there behind the statue's head. Yeah, what's that? There's no 
from our toilet paper. Uh oh. Well, there's toilet paper downstairs in the downstairs or in the ouch in the down. <laughs> almost burned myself on the candle downstairs. Speaking of life. All right, so between this tower and this tower, we, we can freehand figure out where that top of this uh, wall um, it has to end up in here, okay? Uh, which would be approximately there. Uh, likewise here, you can match it up to as best as you can where that bottom part of the building is right here, okay? And that line, those lines are probably little, like I, like we talk about a hair off, and that's almost exactly what it is, a hair off. Uh, but we have to have them there to know the, because these they built these buildings pretty straight, you know, maybe, maybe straighter than even some buildings we see today. Yeah, sweetie? Guess what? Well, we have a sweater that looks exactly like this. Very nice. But just, um, different color. Okay. Very cool. I love it. That's such a soft sweater. I know. It's very soft. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> patience, Frank. We are deciding some uh, perspective lines on the building. And they would be lighter at some points, darker at others, depending if they're behind the sun, behind a shadow. Clearly, there's going to be some shadowing behind this front tower. Behind this front tower, there's going to be a lot of ta uh, shadow. You won't see some in some spots. You, you don't see it in others. And so these lines here are critical right here in terms of the shape of the building being like if you were to look at it from the top. If you were to look at this building from the top. There it is. From up here, it'd be a square looking down on it. It's a square building. Daddy. Yeah. Oh, okay. that looks so soft. I know. Yeah, yeah. Can I go show them my elves? Uh, we'll do it later. We'll do another. Next episode, we'll do the elves. We'll, we're getting close to the Go look for the next episode. Of yeah. What, what does everybody need to do? They need to follow, comment down below. Yeah. Yes. And hit the okay. like button. All right. I need a moment to talk. Okay, so can you give and me a second? Hit the bell. Okay, thank you. I need a moment to talk. Thank you, sweetie. All right. She's sick, so it's hard. You know, it's kind of hard. Uh, we have to figure out how to just do it together, and we do. But I'm talking. The subscribe button is yeah. ready. Click it and make it. If click. only the show was about everybody just screaming and talking over each other like other YouTube channels, but that's just not. Make it turn gray. The subscribe <laughs> button. If it's red, just click on it and yep. turn gray. Yeah. Okay. You just subscribe. That's right. That's all you got to do. And yours? Subscribe to Chad and B. Yep. That's my, they're my favorite YouTube channel. Yep. And go see his TikToks. Shh. Okay, it's my turn to talk, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. Shut the door. Why don't you shut the door? Watch your show or something for a little bit. And it's, of course, it's going to be YouTube. All right, so it, I love her. I love her, but she likes to talk. She likes to, perf she's a performer, and she'll want to talk and talk and talk. And then I can't get to any of the other content, and then it gets, you know, harder to do this type of thing, but it's okay. You only get so much time to film this stuff. I'm going to finish here soon by just saying I'm, I'm building in some of these uh, rear steeples. Uh, I might have to do a little correction here because in the background... Um, one of these steeples is gonna look a little messed up. What I do if I match colors, if you have a little little area like right here, um, I've already developed a little bit of uh, paint on the palette, which is like this greener um, and orange uh, background there in the in that little little area right here. Part of it turns gray, however, but we can kind of put a little highlight behind it. And that's fine. Just tap 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 tap. Just like a a big landscape, but it's just a small part of this one okay we got some uh, orange in the trees back there which will be soon broken up and that's okay I got a little gray on the brush I'm gonna put a little white because it's rather bright back there I'm gonna wipe my brush off and try at least to see if I can get this white color whitish um, I'd call it mist color I made with a little bit of uh, blue-gray in there. 
and just kind of eliminate that tower a bit because the tower is a little bit too wide and these uh, not, not the tower, the steeple rather, was a little bit too wide. Then we can go back in there and do it. And go right back over it where I did those t touches in the background. And if it was really bad, I'd wipe it off with a paper towel. Maybe use a little mineral spirits to get rid of a little bit of it. Um, but point being that uh, we, we got rid of the muck that we didn't want. The excess so to speak. And before I end, uh, you know, the painting, I just want to point out there that the lines do make a di huge difference to the viewer's uh, belief. Uh, you are creating an illusion. You are constantly creating an illusion that you're fooling the viewer's eyes. Um, yeah. So, point is, if you're fooling someone's eyes, it has to be almost as if you're looking at a real picture. This, this is the challenge. Uh, this is the challenge that there is no picture of this place. <laughs> okay. I'm engineering it. Okay. That's something if you're interested in learning an art form of whatever this is, uh, cityscaping, that is not painting real life. One can be a real life painter much easier than a, I think, a person who invents something because the engineering's already done. You're a mirror. What does that mean? You're a mirror. You're just an artist, and that's a mirror. You're just painting what you see. That shows skill. I call that the gymnastics of ours. Be like, wow, you did, you performed a picture perfect backflip. You performed a picture perfect splits. You performed a picture perfect bar routine. But the one that won the bar routine is the artist who is inventing stuff, who is doing something different. Like the ice skater, be like, yep, you did all the technical stuff right, but man, that choreography, that choreography was on. Point. Whatever. I love art, no matter who does. The choosing of the subject matter, I love to see your gymnastics, but I don't know, I'll do some, I don't, I don't find as much fulfillment in just painting things I see in everyday life. No, couldn't do it, just can't do it. Cause I'm like, that's cool. I see that every day, now I just painted it and it looks great in my house, or I don't see that every day. That's a picture of beautiful building in France, but not me. Pause it right there. Well, I was kind of painting and jibber jabbering. That's kind of where we got building this back part of the tower. Now, as we move to this front tower, and we'll do this in another episode, um, and the next one, finish up this building, the front facade. We have sun coming this way. I'm sure you can see that uh, because of the sun, very obvious there, but it's coming this way, right? Brighter behind the building, darker. Much brighter than there. It's closer to the sun. It's closer to the source. Closer to the source of light. Okay. Much darker behind all this, of course. And that just gives you a little idea of where we got today. Yay. That was a little bit of a sarcastic yay. Uh, it kind of is because I get kind of bummed out at the end of um, every time I'm filming or, or making a creating a video or a vlog because I want to do more, but I got to cut it short here. These things go way too long and uh, point out that uh, uh, perspective lines again, that's a lot of what this episode is going to be talking about perspective lines, uh, creating a city, your engineering angles, light refraction, refraction, shadows. Um, you drew it, or I drew it, now you're illustrating it.
big difference. I can draw with a ruler. I could use tools and measure and make sure it all comes out looking fancy. <clears throat> but now I'm painting it. I'm, I'm putting in the colors in the, in the absence of light and the brilliance of lights, the reflections, the contrast, the, um, the things that make it more 3D, okay? Um, you'll notice with some of those background buildings, there are a lot less detail. It has to be that way. You wouldn't have as much detail on those buildings naturally. Uh, they're faded. But the biggest thing to keep in mind is your time it, uh, it is going to be consumed by these, okay? Be patient. And that's why I get a little bummed. I'm like, man, what time was it already? I'm like, dang. Hour of painting, that's it. That's it. You just saw the last clip there. That's all I got. But it'll get there. And this could be a very, very long set of series. I might have to break it up with some other videos. Maybe we'll do another acrylic art pour. I've been thinking about doing a little just a fun abstract piece um, in a later episode. Just kind of give you a teaser where we're just going to do some black gesso on the canvas. And, and we're going to put some liquid clear on there. We're going to put some under tone colors like uh, the liquid clear mixed with the oils different colors on there and just do some crazy stuff with some light just put a little white on the brush and just go go at it have some fun sometimes art you just have to have fun you're expressing yourself with that fun um you're expressing that self with the sadness you're expressing that self with the anger you're expressing that self with the idea you're expressing yourself with the vision art is expression in a lot of ways and like i said being in the mind of the artist, being in the mind of the, from uh, from the viewer to the creator, that communion between people, you're connecting people, feeling that feeling they felt, and that's such a huge thing. And that's why I like to do certain ideas that I think people could connect to. This is a perfect city, a perfect society, as perfect as perfect can be, because they did things right, they learned from the past mistakes of of their ancestors they studied their history they learned through their philosophy what was right and wrong they are principled in science and philosophy and mathematics and reason and they designed a whole city around this to say this city represents the ideals of our society science art arithmetic and math reason logic and you even see in the middle there are the four openings to that canal and the uh, probably like the water gate there um, that uh, the flood gate or whatever they want to call them that empties out the water when they need to damn maybe down a waterfall over you don't see what's on the other side but this represented in the vision of four and you'll see it repeat the number four will repeat itself in certain parts that building with the four towers um, various other things but that's my vision and that's my expression because I believe that we can become a more perfect society if we don't destroy ourselves. I hope, certainly hope we don't. Man, you are such a dark and gloomy YouTuber, man. We want to just talk about fun stuff. Well, we got to do a lot to fix our world. You kids, be a part of the process. Be a part of the good aspects of the process. The production. Put on your part. Put on your role. Put on your hats and be a big part of the world and be the person you were born to be, the artist you were born to be, but you're part of this production, you're part of this process no matter what, either a good part or a bad part. Even machines have monkeys in the wrench to be a bad part of the process. Even machines have the oil that make things glide. Even the machines have the design, the parts, the strength to get the job done. And unfortunately, we live in the big machine of the world, but you know what? There's always that time for the dance, okay? There's always that time for the game, and it's a wonderful one in the end because the machine doesn't always have to run. We've got those little moments where we can do art and create and be a part of the world in a way that is unlike our jobs. We don't have to be the squeaky grease or whatever they say. You don't have to be the cog in the wheel. You don't have to always be, um, you know, the the drone of the society that gets things done you can be a creator which is an absolute almost enigmatic experience in some ways because as the creator you are using your mind in a way that perhaps 
you have never thought before possible. I never thought before possible. And you will connect to the world in a way you never, ever, ever felt, ever felt or thought possible. And that connection with people with art is amazing. And I love connecting with all of you with my art. Please like, subscribe, share. 50% again goes to charities, including the arts, including helping kids this time of year for the holidays. I hope you do that for me. Let everybody know about it because this is a big deal. We're not just doing what everybody else is doing. We're going to have some fun. We're going to do some serious stuff. We're going to help people. And again, thank you for everything. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. We will try to get the cityscape closer to completion. All right. See y'all.